like such a tourist today. And I forgot how much stuff I bought already. Good morning. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Maya. Today is our last full day here. This trip went by so fast. I feel like I literally just got here. And so, yes, why am I carrying all my stuff even though I still have a full day here? We are changing hotels today. And funny enough, I'm not gonna say exactly where it is yet because I'm actually gonna make a whole video about it. <laughs> well, part of it. If you know, you know, and you'll probably get it right away, especially if you're an army. But anyways, we're headed over to um, the Dopongi area today. So I hope to get at least a bit more shopping done, even though I actually am worried I don't have space to carry stuff. We're gonna have to do some very intricate packing tonight and we'll see where the day takes us again. Let's go. So there's a reason why I came all the way here. at the hotel because check-in still isn't for a little bit but I'm gonna go out for lunch now and I'm really excited to try the place that I'm about to go to. Let's go! All I'm gonna say is that if you don't like stairs I don't know if Asia is the place for you because <laughs> I've been lugging my suitcase all morning at least I'm wearing black but I am so sweaty as usual. So I'm pretty sure this is the Kite Marunouchi building. It has a lot of restaurants and shops in it. And it is just after 11.15, so I'm hoping it's not super busy there today. But it's a Sunday and I don't know how popular this place still is. Hey, I'm here. So this is where Namjoon ate during his most recent trip here. I'm not sure what he got, but I think I just want the regular dos katsu. I'll go with the big one. They gave me they have all of these dressings. This is a spicy miso and garlic sauce. This is an original tonkatsu sauce. This is a sesame dressing, and then this is a Japanese style uh, onion dressing for the salad. And my cabbage.
I am so full. <laughs> they have a rooftop garden up here. I just love rooftop gardens. They're so pretty. Lunch was delicious, but I feel like I need to walk it off now. I'm so full. Halfway through, I was eating it and thinking, the 100 grams is not that much. And then towards the end, I was like, whoa, okay, now I am very full. Thank you, thank you. I think I already said this before in a previous vlog that I've been looking for a trench coat, but I feel like maybe it's just not the season anymore, which is weird because it's fall. But I just can't find trench coats anywhere. It's just either wool coats or like down coats. Hmm. I fear I will go home without one, which is a little disappointing because that's like it's like the one thing that I've been looking for. Wait a minute. I can't believe I was just walking and saying I might not get a coat. And then I bought a trench coat. Not gonna lie, I didn't really look at the price. <laughs> so it was more expensive than I thought, but it's a very good quality trench coat. So I'm really happy about my purchase. I'm walking towards a place that I've only been to up close once before. It's like right in front of me, I can see it now. But I figured since I'm in the area, I might as well come over here and recreate another BTS picture. It might take me a minute to actually recreate this picture though because I don't know from what angle Tay took this picture from. But it's also midday and his was at night. But I don't think I'm going to have time to come back tonight. So we're working with what we're working with, okay? <laughs> stood in front of the sign here for Tokyo, in front of Tokyo Tower. are my mom or one of like five friends I have <laughs> I just realized now on my last day after making all these videos that I basically have not talked about myself before so unless you already know me in real life you probably don't even know who I am <laughs> all I've been saying is hi I'm Maya yes I am Maya but what else is there to know about me um I've had some people ask me because I went to Korea and then I went to Japan right after, like, am I rich? No, not at all. Like, not at all. <laughs> I'm not rich. I am a flight attendant, so luckily I do get flight benefits, um, so I am able to fly for a greatly reduced cost, which I am very grateful for, and that is why starting Essentially starting now, I will be doing a lot more traveling in this coming year. I'm really excited. I'm already starting to think about when I want to even be back here next. Hopefully next time I'll be here with my mom again and probably for like a bit longer of a time. It would be nice if I could be here for at least a week. Then I could go and see family. Speaking of which, I was born here in Japan. My mom is from the Northern Island of Hokkaido, that's where I was born, but I grew up in Canada. So all of my mom's side of the family still lives here. 
Last time I saw uh, my family was in 2019 and because this trip was only three days long, I didn't have enough time to go and visit my family. So I'm really hoping that next year I will be here for a little bit longer and I can actually visit my family and have a, and just have a longer trip. This place, obviously Japan is always going to be my first home, literally, but it just feels like home. I'm not from Tokyo and I don't really, Honestly, I am very unfamiliar. Tokyo is just so big and like it's always changing that I'm always feeling so excited, but also I'm not used to the energy of Tokyo. I think if you've ever been here, you would kind of know what I mean. It's very fast paced, bustling, like you would think a ginormous city would be like. But I think this time compared to being in Seoul, where I was there for the very first time, everything just felt super new. Whereas here, I feel a little bit more comfortable and it feels more familiar. And I really enjoy both places for different reasons. I can't wait to be back in Korea. Again, next time I go, I hope I can go for a little bit longer. I would love to visit outside of Seoul, but that's like a future Maya thing. Like I'm getting so ahead of myself right now. That's like a future thing for me sometime next year. I hope that I can keep making these videos, this travel BTS fangirl type content. I don't even know. It's just like such a specific niche. I don't really know if there's even that big of an audience for it. I mean, I guess if you're ARMY, hi. I hope you enjoy the semi BTS content so far. Not to sound like a total fangirl, but there's just like so many places that BTS has gone to that I just want to like go and recreate the pictures and eat the food and whatnot. And I don't know, some people might think it's silly, but it's fun. And I think unless you're a fangirl, you don't really understand. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful view. And then we are going to get ready again and head out. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I need to get up or else I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the afternoon and we cannot be doing that because we are working on a tight schedule of, I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't even have plans, but I feel like I just need to be out and about and just walking and like making the most of the day. I don't know, should I actually? <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait, hold that thought, look at this. Oh my goodness. Do you see all those koi fish? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, anyways. <laughs> wow, they are humongous. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna just walk around. I think I'm, I feel like that's, Okay, because the Modi building is right in front of me there. <laughs> what is this angle? <laughs> I think I'm going to go over there for a, a little bit. And then tonight, I am going to go to Ginza. And I believe I'm having sushi. The family friends that I had dinner with last night, I told them that I was probably going to go there and have sushi tonight for dinner. And they said that it was too sad for me to have my last meal here by myself. And so they're taking me out for dinner again. And then we leave tomorrow and I'm kind of sad about that already. But I know I will be here again, like very soon. So I feel like now that I'm working this kind of job, the world just is, feels smaller again. And I honestly did not think at all I would be here this year, first of all. Um, I mean, <laughs> everywhere that I was able to travel to this year, I had no idea I was going to be going. I did not anticipate traveling to any of the places I did starting when I started 2022. So I hope next year we'll do more of this. We will. I already know we will. And I'm excited for it. And I hope that I can share more and you can come along on my little adventures with me while I talk to the camera because I'm by myself and I don't talk to anyone for like three days. <laughs> Made it to the infinite.
infamous, the infamous spider. Hmm, what should we do? If I also had more time, I would have gone to the Mori Art Museum, which is here. I've been there like a few times before. There's just simply not enough time for this trip. And I kind of want oh, a snack of some sort. I feel like I need to eat more. I have not eaten enough. There's too many things I still want to eat. <laughs> See, I want something like this. Where are these places though? I literally could care less about Halloween, but they make Halloween so cute. Vlogging is hard and I think I'm going to give myself a lot of extra work once I get home and I look through this footage because I just keep changing my mind. I am actually just going to head over to Ginza now and just walk around there for a bit until dinner time. It smells incredible down here. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Honestly, one of probably my favorite things to do in Japan is come to the department stores because the food here is just so good. Sunday, which means that they have the road closed on the weekends, which is nice. You can just walk along the road. I also bought pudding, but I don't know where to eat it. But I want to eat it now. But there's like no benches around. I saw other people sitting on the sidewalk, so we're just gonna crouch and eat. Even though I kind of feel weird about it because Japan's definitely not a place that you just eat wherever, but I'm having dinner soon, so I should really eat this before. I'll show you what I got. Oh, it's glass. There it is. It's a custard pudding. I was been, I've been craving pudding for so long. I have never just eaten just like on the sidewalk like this before, especially alone. It's probably not gonna focus because it's in cinematic mode. Oh. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm, I see. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Every time I see this, I'm just tempted to buy one, but it's so heavy. <laughs>
back from dinner, which was <laughs> the most fun dinner I think I've ever had. I mean, the sushi there was incredible. It was so good, but also we were sitting at the counter. So my family friends had already been there before. And so the chef was super funny and he was just talking to us the whole time. And he was so just a pro, like truly a pro. And the sushi was so good. <sighs> like, I feel like I finally, <clears throat> I feel like I finally had sushi again for the first time in forever. So today was another really fun day and it's over now. But you know what? I had such a good trip. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow, like partially. I'm gonna just start getting ready for bed now, I think. I wanna show you the view because it's so pretty. Oh wait, let me actually turn off the lights. It'll be better. Your time is so pretty. Look how pretty. Oh yeah, I stopped at the convenience store on the way home because I started panicking, panicking, that I haven't eaten enough snacks while I'm here. This always happens at the end of my trip. So I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten this, I haven't eaten that. Oh my gosh, ah. And like three days is truly not enough time to eat everything that I want to eat. I feel like I only got a fraction of what I wanted to eat. Uh, oh yeah. I just got a regular Mugicha barley tea, as always. I got another one of these, what is this, grapefruit? Yeah, grapefruit, um, jelly drinks. Can you tell that I'm just like genuinely obsessed with these jelly drinks? <laughs> How many have I had? Um, I haven't had any convenience store ice cream, which I think is just like, a crime. Mm, that's so dramatic. It's not a crime. You know what I mean. Convenience store ice cream is just next level here. But I'm quite full from dinner, so I just got this. This is the ice no mi. I'm actually just gonna eat this right now before I even shower, because they'll probably melt anyways. This one is um, mikang flavored. What's mikang? Orange, mandarin, orange, you know. Tangerine, you know what I'm talking about. English is difficult. They just look like this. <laughs> okay, why do I always drop my food? I need to learn how to food vlog better. Anyways, it looks like this. Mm. It tastes like concentrated orange juice, like frozen. Do you know what I mean? Not in a bad way. Like they, I, I like I, I like these ones. I like the grapefruit or the grape flavor as well. These are good if you're not, if you want something cold but not like ice cream. Lastly, I got a warabi mochi. My favorite. I just love mochi in general. Anything that says mochi at the end, like count me in. Warabi mochi is. How do I? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Warabi mochi has like kinako on top, which is soybean powder, I think. And then it has like this, like, I don't wanna call it molasses, but it's like this like kuro mitsu syrup. If you, <sighs> oh, why am I so bad at this? I need a dictionary. I don't know how to explain this in English. Anyways, this one says it's um, cream warabi mochi, so I guess there's like cream on top, maybe? It looks white. So I, I will eat this after I shower. Put it in the fridge. And I will put these in the fridge too. Stay. Today was a very good day. I Actually, now that I'm in the hotel, I can watch TV. I haven't watched Japanese TV in so long. I don't change it to its full screen though. 
Um, if you switch the screen size, please press the size button on the remote control. Press the size button on the remote control. Ah! I am going to finish this and then shower. Anyways, hello, it's me again. My hair is... Hello? <laughs> What was I gonna say? I wasn't even really gonna say anything. I was just gonna make an outro and just say, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I guess we're almost at the end of my adventure. Oh, oh, what was that thing that BTS did? It was like the little like, like notification bell sign. I'll just put a screenshot of it. I'll just put a screenshot of it. I guess there's still tomorrow. And then once I get home, I'm going to be filming some haul video. I have a lot of things that I bought that I would like to show you all. And what else do I want to make videos of? I mean, if you have ideas, I would love to hear them. <laughs> if, if anyone's interested, I guess, in me, my job, anything about traveling, BTS, stuff like that. I could talk about it all day long. So please let me know in the comments. I'm not a YouTuber, so this just like feels weird to say out loud, but okay. Good night and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.